All right, so today is the next day. I had to stop on the right-hand side. So today I'm gonna to start on the left-hand side rain rail. And it's the same process. Uh, I'm just gonna uncover, let's see if it's this one. Just uncover the aluminum tape I had covering the, the fasteners. Um, Cause I didn't want water getting in there. Cause I had loosened them up last year and uh, should be. Yeah, they're good. Just go back and forth. This one, kind of hard. Back and forth until they come out. You don't want to break them. There we go. Back and forth. And until it becomes loose. So, I mean, the same, the same thing. Um, I'll get to see it. I mean, you could see previous owner silicone the hell out of this set, this area. Um, I don't recall seeing any water on this side, but that's that's a lot. And then that's the problematic problematic area. God, can't talk um, over the kitchen. Uh, is that here? You know what? I'll show you. I'll show you the problem. Problem is there. Right here. It's all rotted. And this was I mean look at that. So I don't want to take too much off so I could be able to use it as a template, but I don't think I'll be able to take that out as always one piece. And then so I have to take everything off and redo some of the, well, maybe I'll just redo the kitchen. Everything else is fine, I think, for now that I could tell. But my first priority is painting it, painting the RV, and then I'll deal with the inside again. But anyway, uh, here we go. So here's the process. I need a power wash. I started power washing this side, but I'll power wash it later. Uh, I just want to get the rain rail off, sealed, and put back on, primed and primed and uh, sealed, and put back on um, before the next rain. So it should be a couple days. All right. So um, I think this is where uh, my video might help more people with the fuel uh, with the rain rail or uh, whatever on the on the gmc is because i haven't seen anyone actually go into more detail on cleaning up the rain rail and and uh, filling the gaps and stuff like that so um i'm at the point there's the the left side uh, i'm sorry the right side rain rail over there it still has some of that the tape on there and then here's the left side the driver's side rain rail try not to uh bend it here and um, I actually, luckily I had a, I have a power washer uh, and I used the zero degree tip and I pressured washed the, the, the gasket that was on here. I uh, made it, I did it in like in five minutes. Um, I'm all wet, but eh, it's worth the time. So now what I'm doing is um, the edge. So here's, this is the top edge of the rain reel. Here's the, here's the bottom of course. And right now what I'm doing is cleaning up this this edge here with um, a die grinder well, with a uh, 3M sandpaper uh, and I'm cleaning up sorry, I'm cleaning up the edge so when I put the new sealant it has a clean edge to go go on to um, when I apply it to the top so that's what I'm going to do now and um, uh, possible another solution uh, if you have a wire wheel um, here watch watch how quickly uh, this does I'm going to try to do it with my hand here so there, see how quickly that cleaned that edge so yeah I think I'm going to continue using my uh, what uh, brush my wire wheel uh, since the my uh, thing is a little loud 
Um, anyway, so and that will get you some in, in the nooks and crannies as well. So if you need to get in some spots, you could uh, clean clean that up. God, I'm out of frame. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and continue with this, and hopefully my battery lasts. All right, so far so good. I actually took it down to the bare aluminum. Um, just because. And now I need to finish the uh, driver's side rail. But so far so good. As you can see. Oh, that was a lot of work on that one. A lot of sanding. But um, hopefully I can get this one done this evening. And uh, I think tomorrow I might... If I get this one this evening, I'm going to go ahead and prime, sorry, edge prime it, uh, and th so I can prime it tomorrow, and and then um, we'll hopefully, hopefully we could put the seals, these back on with the sealant tomorrow. Okay, so I, I'm going to see if, I'm going to try and get this one tonight, if not, I'll get to it in the morning. Uh, but so I'm back uh, today is the sealant day. I started applying the sealant oh, across the edge uh, where the lip meets with the, the flange. I s filled in a little bit of the sealant um, um, with where all the holes are at. I covered all the, the rivets and I don't have much time that there's working time with this stuff. Let me see if I have it over here. I'll show you what I'm using. This was this was uh, recommended by Jim Bounds. It's the here's the brand. Uh, where is it? Worth Focus. It's Worth Bond and Seal White. There's somewhat of the picture. Okay, so that's what I'm using. And also, as an extra precaution, I'm using the butyl. I'm putting back the butyl tape. So anywhere the sealant is not getting. Uh, I'm going to squish this to the very edge of the top of the rain rail and with the sealant, let me clean my finger off, with the sealant um, uh, touching the butyl tape, hopefully that makes the a watertight seal. So don't get, don't put any of that sealant in the groove because you won't be able to get it in, uh, which is I was told by Jim, you won't be able to get it in because that groove fits right in the, gro the groove of the of the extrusion, uh, the aluminum extrusion, or um, you guys know. So anyway, uh, I have to pause it here for a minute because I got I got to finish putting the butyl tape on and uh, and put and put the thing on because once it once it dries, it's hard to put this this thing on, is what I'm told. So I'm working with time here. I'll be back. Okay, so I took the excess butyl off the edge, and now I, I put a, a tape line, uh, maybe a quarter inch. Ooh, look at that. Stuff is sticky. Make sure you wear gloves. Uh, so I had about maybe a quarter inch from uh, the tape edge to the rain rain rail, uh, rain gutter, um, and I, then I I cut a bevel on on the cock, uh, and, uh, and then I just you know fill in the gap in between so as you can see it's all it's all done next thing I'm gonna do is let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna pull the tape off to get a clean clean edge um, hopefully it doesn't come off <laughs> I mean hopefully the the tape comes off and not the, the sealant so looks like I got a wasp nest in there I'm, I'm watching wasps go in and out so I'll be cleaning I'll be taking all this stuff off tomorrow um, I'm going to do the other edge, the other side. Hopefully, it goes quicker. And, and tomorrow, I'm going to start taking um, the rail off. And uh, uh, I got a, I got some rib nuts to put in in these ten holes here uh, for the, the travel pod. And I got that over there. I might work on that tonight in the garage. Not sure yet. I'm pretty tired. Uh, this really beat me up, especially I got I got some shoulder issues, so shoulder impingement issue or something. It's hurting like heck. Um, so I think that's it for uh, today. Um, just do the same thing on the other side and, and call it done. Um, 
I think that's it. If you have any uh, qu comments, questions, or below, you know, comment below, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, I don't often answer them, um, but I do look at them. So I do occasionally look. So I just upload. Um, I think that's it. We're done, and uh, we'll see you soon. 